deadly in tonight's whiskey review is of a single malt scotch from the uh, Isla region of Scotland, uh, specifically Port Ellen. And it is Lagavulin, but it's a Lagavulin 8 year old, not the famous 16 year old that is well known the world over. The Lagavulin 8 year old that I'm holding in my hand is a special edition or a limited edition limited in the sense that it's 20,000 bottle release, I think is the run, 20 or 30,000 bottles, to commemorate the 200th anniversary of the Lagavulin Distillery. It was released, I think, in 2016, and we're going to try it tonight. The uh, label is very similar to Lagavulin 16, and this one is different, though. It is aged exclusively in ex-bourbon casks, and the alcohol by volume is a lot higher. It is 48%, and it's a 750 milliliter format. Cork stopper. A word about the color. Very light. Pale straw, wouldn't you say? Very light. I mean, it's an eight year old single malt. You would think there's no artificial color, but there is. E150A. Chill filtration, too. The nose is fragrant, is obviously going to be smoky. It's from the Isla region. The price, I paid $60, $65 in New Hampshire. The price is all over the map, depending on where you live. I've seen it as high as $100, uh, and even higher than that. The nose is quite exquisite. The wood management is exclusively ex-bourbon casks. Um, no sherry casks were used in the wood management. I've had this bottle a while, so it's about half full. Some oxidation has happened, which I think is a good thing with this uh, high ABV. It needs water. 48% for this particular malt needs a bit of water. The big difference between Lagavulin 8 and the 16, besides the obvious age statement, is that the 16 has been aged in uh, some ex sherry casks in addition to bourbon and I think in the 16 year old there's some older malts uh, blended in uh, which contributes to a more sophisticated flavor profile. They're really two different beasts. In my next review I'm going to visit Lagavulin 16. So with a little, before I added the water, and I added the water in prematurely, but on the nose it was minty as I recall, wood, seaside bonfire, obviously it's smoky, it's an isla malt, you know, banana, lemons, the nose is nice, there's nothing offensive with this single malt. On the palate, big salt, big salt, dulse, wood char, custard, obviously it's peated, green mint, green onion stock, black wood smoke. It's good. The finish is dry. There's a zing of black peppercorns, ginger, dry ginger, camphor, menthol. It's phenolic, ashy. It's good. 
But Lagavulin 8 is not for the novice whiskey fan. Uh, after I thoroughly reviewed this and tasted it over about three or four weeks, I went online and looked at other reviews of it, and they were all glowing. But I think they were all glowing by real serious peat monster smoke bomb heads. People who like Isla Malts, and not everybody does. So if you're thinking of this as a gift, I wouldn't buy it as a gift for somebody who is new to whiskey, or who generally likes light, honeyed, space-side uh, whiskeys. There are some peated ones but from space-side, but in, in, to make a generalization, if they like honey, if they like sherry, if they like Belvany, uh, Doublewood 12-year-old, Glendronic 12, Craig and Moore, if they like soft, gentle whiskeys, I don't think they're going to enjoy the 8-year-old Isla Malt uh, from the Lagavulin Distillery. This is a big dog peat bomb and it is not offensive to the connoisseur but for the average consumer I'm not so sure they're going to enjoy it. It's a good whiskey but again it's not for people who like sherry and honey to the exclusion of Isla. Personally, I prefer Lagavulin 16. I prefer a gentler peat and smoke profile. I like Isla influenced blends too. If you're interested in Isla whiskey from that region of Scotland, start with a blend like White Horse if you can find it, which is a phenomenal bargain or Isla Mist, I think it's like a seven year old or the 17 year old. Gentle, sweet, enjoyable. This has got not a bite, but a lot of black pepper, a lot of wood char, a lot of smoke. Thank you for tuning in. And next week, well, in a couple of weeks, I'll review Lagavulin 16 year old.